for you or anyone to grow in power, we must understand the forces of focus, the power of focus. Force is so powerful. Anything you set your focus on grows, increases, multiplies, and magnifies. When you focus on anything for any length of time, you will see a change. Nobody becomes spiritually powerful without understanding this power of focus. Focus is giving attention. Focus is fixing your heart on something. Focus is concentrating your energy and effort on a certain thing. Focus is powerful. Focus brings spiritual power to operate in your life. You must focus. This is why Hebrews chapter 11, I mean chapter 12, verse 2 says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, saying, Focus on Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. As usual, the King of glory, the mighty God of the universe, the Father of all flesh, your God, my God, your Father, my Father, has sent me today again to speak to you with this word to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, and to bless you so that you can prevail over demonic situations that surround you. We are bedeviled with demonic activities in our world, and we need to prevail. The only way to prevail is to stand upon the rock that cannot fail, the rock of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. May God empower you. May God fill you with divine ability to do great things. May you not die as a nothing. May you accomplish your purpose on earth. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. I'm still talking about journey into spiritual power. You see, I want you to understand that we are living in the last days. It is very clear that we are in the last days. Look at this thing we call lockdown. Look at what it has done to nations and families. Look at what it has done to economy. Clearly, we're in the last days. And the Bible says that in the last days, there will be an increase in spiritual activities. In Joel chapter 2 from verse 28, he says, It shall come to pass in the last days that I'm going to pour out <coughs> my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. We are in the days where the Spirit of God is moving more than at any other age. These are the days of the miraculous. These are the days of stupendous miracles happening in the church, happening in the life of individuals. We are in the days that we must see an increased activity of spiritual healing. Increased activity of spiritual miracles. We must see an increased activity of answer to prayers. Because we are in the last days. But for anyone to enter into this spiritual power, whereby miracles will begin to happen in your life, left, right, and center, you must undertake this journey into spiritual power. If you are going to be one of those people that God is going to use in these last days, if you are going to be one of those people that will enjoy spiritual power, if you are going to be one of those people who will enjoy the supernatural grace of God, if you are going to be one of those who will be extraordinary person in your world, then you must undertake this journey into spiritual power that God has put in my mouth to speak to you. And first of it, I said, without faith, there cannot be power. I said that in one of the broadcasts. You can go back and listen to it. The next thing I said is focus. 
anyone who does not focus cannot enjoy spiritual power. Let me give you an example. If I say to you, sit down there and just imagine that you are seeing Jesus Christ sitting by your side and hold that imagination for 10 minutes, I am very sure many people cannot hold that imagination for one minute. Yes, it's true. You will see Jesus sitting by your side. But can you hold that imagination for 10 minutes? This is where focus is lacking. We cannot focus onto Jesus. This is why the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 from verse 1, he says, seeing then that we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us, you see, lay aside every sin that does so easily beset us. Verse 2, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. If I tell you to imagine Jesus sitting with you, in one minute you'll begin to remember Hi, I have to go to my friend. Oh, somebody is owing me money. All those thoughts will begin to flood your mind. You cannot keep your attention on Jesus. You cannot keep that focus on Jesus. And that is why we are lacking power. The day, one day I said to myself, I'm going to pray for one hour. I began to pray. I was praying. I thought I'd prayed for one hour. When I opened my, my eyes, I had only prayed for five minutes it's not easy to keep focus. If you are praying alone, it's not easy to pray for 30 minutes. Let's not deceive ourselves. Why is it not easy to pray for 30 minutes? Because we don't have focus. Our attention is easily taken away from God. It's not easy for us to keep looking onto Jesus. This is why we don't have power this is why we don't enjoy and experience the miraculous. Let me tell you, do you want to enjoy the miraculous? I'm sure that is one of the reasons why you are listening to this. You have to understand the power of attention. You have to understand the power of concentrating your mind on one thing, on one purpose, on Jesus, on God. When you focus your attention on Jesus when you look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, the presence of Jesus become more real in your life. If you can just practice the presence of Jesus every day, if you can just see Jesus every day in your mind's eye, if you can just imagine that as you are going, Jesus Christ is by your side going with you, if you can just imagine Jesus, if you can just look unto Jesus, you will experience power. When you begin to imagine Jesus, in the beginning it's going to be difficult. Because many things will take your thoughts away from imagining Jesus. And this is why in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, the Bible says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Do you know what that place is saying? That place is saying you must use your weapon. The weapon of casting down imaginations. When you are focusing on Jesus, when you are imagining that Jesus is by your side, there will be thoughts that will take your imagination away. There will be thoughts that will take your focus away from Jesus. You need to understand how to use your weapon of warfare to cast down imaginations, to cast down every thought that is taking your attention away from Jesus. You must cast down every thought that is taking your attention away from God. This is how to imbibe spiritual power. This is how to grow into spiritual power. This is how to take your journey into spiritual power. When you focus on Jesus, when you focus on God, when you determine to pray for one hour, many things we want to stop you before one hour. 
Many things we want to discourage you. But when you understand how to use your weapon of warfare, you're going to cast down those imaginations. Many people cannot even listen to this kind of message for 20 minutes. They get bored and tired. Their attention is shifted away. They go back to their phone. They go back to their WhatsApp. They go back to their email. They, they go back to their DSTV. No wonder there is no power. But let me tell you, we are in the last days. More people are getting it. More people are understanding this miraculous. More people are tapping into the supernatural. Are you going to be one of those people? Because when Jesus Christ our Lord will come, the Spirit of God will so much fill the earth. And the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ is going to increase so much that little children will begin to do mighty miracles. You have seen prophets and some of you are doubting some of them. That those prophets are demonic. Many of them may not be demonic. This is just a, an infinitesimal part of what God is about to do. You're going to see young children rising up and prophesying. They will tell you what you ate yesterday. They will tell you your phone number. They will tell you the things that will happen. Because they venture to focus on Jesus. They took an adventure and a journey into spiritual power. They're going to come out doing mighty miracles in these last days. We're going to see dead people rise up from the dead because people are going to tap into the supernatural realm and they're going to do mighty miracles. I want you to get set and be one of them. And this is the reason why God is sending this message. You are able to hear this today. Courtesy Partners of I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. God bless all our partners in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much for listening to this message. I really appreciate you. If you got this message from any platform, you love this message and you are on WhatsApp, you want to get this message directly on your WhatsApp. Just save this number with I Prevail. Save this number with I Prevail. The number is plus two seven seven four zero three zero two. 381. Save that number. Just say, add me. Send me a message. Add me. I will add you from tomorrow. You will receive this. And if you want to be a partner or you want to contribute to this ministry, you want to sow a seed, just WhatsApp that number. Say seed or partner. But if you need an encouragement, you need prayer, you need me to agree with you in prayer, and you want me to pray with you, the number to call is this. Plus 277 8047. Call that number. I'll be there to answer you, to pray with you, to support you, and to give you prophetic guidance. Thank you so much. It is well with you. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga of the Prevailing Church of Christ, signing out this morning and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.